See, you got to, you know, the two little, does he have faucets above his buttocks? Yes. Yeah. Are they called faucets? The, the, the dimples. Dimples, dimples. You know the dimples <laughs> at the top of the buttocks? The top of a what? Yeah, at the top of your butt, the little dimples. Yeah. Okay. That's the dimple, that's where you have to push forward. Is in my words, not going to recognize him. Yeah, it's going to be impressed. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. See, and then your knees are loose from the saddle. Right. There you go. And your leg is loose from the saddle. So you're making an effort on your leg, but not on the horse. And all of that effort on yourself to get to the perfect position liberates the horse. You follow? Okay, well, what I'm trying to say is this. You have been busy, busy making the horse do a certain number of things. Right. Right? And the whole purpose of the position I'm giving you is to... Stop preventing the horse from doing what you want. Right. Because, as a matter of fact, uh, what you did had much more of a negative. Right. No, I felt that right away. I just still not sure exactly. Like I feel like I'm doing a lot of isometrics up here, and I don't know what is. But it, what it, is actually. Um, a bunch of energy just being burned up somewhere else. <laughs> right. So, so I'm not doing the same thing, no, but I'm doing other right. different things, but I might, I don't know really what I'm doing that's working. Well, what's working is your <coughs> belly is forward, your chest is up, though your chest could be more up. Right. Uh, you've got to stretch the, the, the crystals. Your hips are down, so you're going to have sore hips tonight. Right, I have sore hips. Already. From the minute we started this, like in five minutes, my hips were sore. But right. that'll pass. That, that will go away. That'll pass. It'll go away. <laughs> we promise. It's like yoga. You're just stretching stuff you haven't stretched. Right. No, I understand that. What I don't understand is, so I'm doing, I'm not doing what I normally do, but I don't know what I'm doing. In other words, I know what the wrong answer is, but I still don't know what the answer is, even though it's well, happening. the answer is that position. The answer is hurting in your hips. Right, but I'm still, like I said, I'm going around here, I don't know which thing I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of things. You probably don't see me doing <laughs> It's okay. Well, but, okay. I'm not doing what I was doing before. That's the main well, thing. We, we know that, but the point, the point is that you are doing the right thing. Okay. I mean, even if you can't put a name on it. You know, Nuno wrote this, uh, I read this in an article the other day that he took 25 years to understand what he was feeling. So you got 25 years to go, minus two days. There you go. So get your chest up, get your head up, now that I'm doing things different, I can't even tell which diagonal I'm on anymore. Well, that's all right. Not that's the correct diagonal. I know, but I had to look, is what I'm saying. Yeah, because you're changing the... You're changing the, the, the scale of feelings. Right. But that's normal, because what happened when you change... That's why I'm looking so much. That's okay. So the, the changing... Uh, the feeling gets you unstructured, but you already restructured quite a bit. You just don't know where the things are. It's like somebody cleaned up your house. You just don't know where they put the stuff. But it's still there. But it's still there, exactly, and it's actually more accessible. So think about this uh, thing of uh, getting the weight of your feet. Like this coming forward and out of the circle there is better like this. 
I'm not pulling on my reins. Right. I'm See, because now, the now you have energy in your hips, right? So right. <clears throat> it's just a matter of directing that energy. Right. So, like for instance, do a small circle by pushing your left hip forward. Don't round your back, okay? Now do a big circle by pushing your right hip forward. Don't force, don't force, you're doing fine. See, at the moment I said to do something, I went back to my old stuff. You started to go strong. Right. I gotta take a break. See, some riders have got to do more, like Nate has got to do more. You have to do less. Right. Because you're the strongest man in the jungle. That's you know, you have incredible strength for your size, there. If you do, do you know the story of uh, of uh, this is the story of California dressage, right? Right. So Jane goes to Africa with a group of people to go hunting, and she's sitting around the campfire, right? And uh, Tarzan is in the trees, and he sees the blonde woman, and go, whoa, my blonde woman, right? So he, he, he catches a vine and he swings through the through the, the the campfire and he grabs Jane by the hair and throws her on, on his back and goes off in the goes off in the jungle. So then he gets to his cabin, to his tree house, right? And he throws her on the couch, you know, by which point she's lost most of her clothing, right? Uh, and uh, uh, and then he decides to do the deed. So he sticks his thing in a navel, right? And she said, Tarzan, this is the wrong place. And he says, no, Tarzan, strongest man in the forest. Make my own hole. <laughs> what does that have to do with California dressage? That's how dressage, this is what my vision of dressage people in California, right, right. Hilda in particular, they, you know, instead of following the... The way it's been done forever. It, it, instead of following the, the thing that works, they have to reinvent a forceful way of doing it. I don't think Hilda would get the joke. But <laughs> <No>. <laughs> What's that? I don't think Hilda would get the joke. 